So we are looking. <laughs> Man, please. Okay. Uh, we uh, this is what I was meant to do. So add basic AI to the assassin so we can provide it a target and it can navigate to said ta target. We should bind uh, to a dungeon event complete so that it stops chasing if the adventurer completes the dungeon. And we want to pawn. We want to set the controller, set auto possess, and create a behavior tree for it. Okay. Hey, Alan. It's nice to see you. Hello there, basic milky as well. <laughs> Partly, come on. <laughs> uh, we need that those nanite pets, right? That's what we need. Anyway. So, uh, to do this, I need to be in here. Uh, and I think I created my assassin last time, right? Okay, so we have our blueprint class for our assassin. So let's open that up like we have done. So we'll open the full blueprint. So we now need to make uh, two things. There's a, an AI controller for it. The AI controller, we may not need to make a custom one. But we need to set it to be possessed by one. So let's go into this. There's normally a controller. AI controller class is AI controller. So I did make an AHA AI controller. A dueling. Okay, so I did make custom controllers for these. Let's have a look how I did this before then. So did we make the AI controller in here custom ones? Or did I? No, I think I just went ahead and made um, custom blueprints variants of them. So let's go in here. AI controller. We'll have a look. Yeah, I made my base one and I made a dungeon adventure AI controller as well. Let's just have a little peep at these. Do I do anything in here? I don't think we do anything special. Okay, so in which case, we'll inherit from this blueprint one. Uh, and we will create a child blueprint class, a BP uh, assassin controller let's just go for that i think it just has like a move to function in there maybe that we made don't mind the giant hand up top and i also am aware you probably can't see half the screen at the moment i should probably make it a little bit smaller i know most of you care more about that but that's it yeah sorry man but i i, I meant to just show it and forgot how big it is Alicia, I sent you a screenshot of how OBS is. It, it, it took me around 30 seconds to find the settings button, which made me sad. I looked through every menu at the top, and there's no settings in there. It was in the little control panel thing. And then it crashed, but didn't crash. It just stopped responding when I tried getting Chorizo Cam working. It wasn't our best start, but it's all plain sailing from here onwards. You should be able to enable the closed captions as well. They're not terribly accurate, but if you're hard of hearing or want to mute my dulcet tones, but still keep up with the unadulterated action, you can use the closed caption. All right, so give that a go. Uh, right, so we've made our assassin controller now. So that means in here we can use our assassin controller. Okay, so that's step one. Compile, save. Now, in uh, we probably do need to open the assassin controller as well. Let's whack that in there. Um, actually, we may not. We may not even have to open that. I just realised. Okay, so the next thing is we need to go ahead and make uh, behaviour trees in that, right? So if I go and make a new folder in here, this is going to be called uh, assassin. I guess it's a, it's a specific case. I think. Maybe, I don't know, yeah. <laughs> Pomo, it's all good. The person with the giant green hands comes into the house sometimes, but all they do is play with the soil and then they leave. They leave a little sweet by the front door. And I eat the sweet each night before bed. All is well. So enemies, and then we'll just go ahead and make, like we've done in these, we have a behavior tree. And then we have a blackboard. We we'll do this. We'll make a new folder again called the Assassin or Dungeon Assassin. Maybe we should call it because we might have an assassin in the world at some point. Who knows? 
Um, and then in here, we're going to have a uh, AI. Where is AI? Artificial intelligence. We want a behavior tree. So this is going to be called uh, uh, BT. Did you do BT first? I can't even remember. Um, Dungeon Assassin. Dungeon Assassin. Uh, we need to make a corresponding uh, blackboard. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like something that could pass by as a, a fable, right? Uh, this is going to be our blackboard dungeon assassin. I haven't done this stuff for ages, so I might need to just iron out a few creases as we do this, but that's all good. So now we need to have something in our assassin, if I remember correctly, to possess. Or is it? No, it's not. It's in our event graph, if I remember. Yeah. Okay, let me open up this one. This will remind me. Yeah, this uh, unpossessed, we need to run a behavior tree. That's what we want to do. Okay, so within uh, our controller, we just say when we're possessed, you're going to run the behavior tree dungeon assassin. Excellent. That is all you need to do. Controller, your job is done. Good night. Um, then from there, we need to build our behavior tree, I'm pretty sure. So first off, we make sure that it's associated with the blackboard. Which blackboard doesn't know at the moment. So let's tie that into the dungeon assassin. Thank you very much. We will save this dungeon assassin has. Why does it have so many keys already? Oh, is that? Hmm. No, I have no idea why it has so many keys. This blackboard. Is it? I didn't copy. Okay, uh, it must just be coming from. Okay, inherited keys is there. Is it? I don't know where they're coming from. If we go back to this, and we're going to have a little peep for goal location override in the code. It might be something I've set at some point. Make it into a game where Folklore wins next. Folklore was a good one. Well, it sounded theoretically good, but we didn't have any good ideas for it, if I'm honest. But I like—I voted high for it, just because it seemed a good idea. The hand show up at your, up at your door, and if you fail a round of patty cake, it rummages through your fridge. <laughs> oh, drat. That would be terrible, wouldn't it? Use my cauliflower nuggets alone. You better practice your patties. Well, well, the only one I remember is there was a... Uh, a uh, high low piccolo piccolo high low high low piccolo piccolo swish never did the patty cake thing i've seen it on american tv though uh right okay so did we find anything no we did not where have these values come from then our behavior tree has nothing yet it has all of these keys uh. I think it's somehow inherited it for somewhere, but I don't I don't know where. Because this behavior tree is just a pure behavior tree. Okay, it doesn't matter for now. I guess what we need is a something to explain the ah, this is the problem. Dungeon Assassin. There we go. I wonder why. Ah, oh, this is the parent. I'm a fool, I set it in the wrong spot. Okay, there we go. Everything makes sense now. I'm fine with that. So can we add a key on here? I can't remember. We do this. It's been ages. I'm going to add a new key. Bool is going to be... Um, should uh, seek adventurer, for example. We'll probably change these. But we're going to have a... Oh, cry. Okay, so a selector, I think it is, isn't it? Select means do one of them. The sequence means you keep going through all of them. So we're going to have a selector in here and we're going to add a decorator onto it, which is going to check our blackboard key. And we basically just want to say, 
is the blackboard key uh, for should seek adventurous set. And then we can invert it as well. Where's the invert? There's a way to do it that I've forgotten. Oh, it's a root level. You can't do it on a root le level one. So I need to do this on the next layer, I guess, right? Yeah, that's how it is. So you do a sequence. We say, okay, try doing this sequence first. And we chuck that on there. And if it fails, it'll come back up. That's all good. Chorizo has been moisturized. Oh, was Chorizo out? I did not see them. I don't know where is a good spot for them. If I'm honest with you. But shout in chat and I, I can make it bigger so people can see them. Okay, so... Um... Oh, it's just the <laughs> via the dirt they've been moisturized. That works. <laughs> Partly it's not like you live in the dream, mate. Absolute dream. Uh, right, okay. Let's think, let's think, let's think. So now that there is... Basically, if it's set, we want to... In, there's a way to invert it. I'm trying to remember how we invert the condition. Oh, it's not set. Okay, so if that's not true... So it's going to be... Do nothing. That is fine. Otherwise, we're going to have a sequence, and this is going to be... I guess we can have that on it, right? Can we paste it on? Yeah. Change this to is set. The music I'm listening to isn't quite where I wanted it to be. So we're going to just skip forward to something else. <laughs> that. Well, I thought so, but then I'm, I'm playing with this data up here, um, a pommer, which is why I moved it. Okay, so... What we'd want them to do on this is if they've got a target set as well, right, I guess? Well, we may not even need this condition, I just want to do it as a, a start point. So we need to give them an actor so that we can move towards it. So they need a new key which is going to be an object which is going to be of type uh what did we call it in here should seek adventurer so let's just call this adventurer to seek uh can we give this a more specific yes uh we don't need more than just i mean we could could we could give it a specific type of right now we'll keep it as an actor but um oh come on Dan okay so we can have that and if it's set as well so we want two things in here we need to add another decorator decorators just count as uh, kind of conditions to pass in order to continue with the logic So uh, this isn't self actor. We want this to be our adventure to seek. So if the adventure to seek is set, then we basically just want to move to uh, adventure to seek. I guess when they're dead, we probably want to stop. So we may need to make a, a some overlap on this character. Once it's done, we'd need to set uh, should seek adventurer to off maybe. Or clear it. That that could work. Okay, so we want to move to adventure to seek. That's our first step, right? So it's not going to be perfect, but we'll see if it works in the beginning at least. So uh, we just need to hook up the spawning of it. So when we spawn it, we also need to give it the adventure. So let's find that in the code. So when we spawn, an assassin was born here. We also want to go ahead and set the... Ah, uh, this is the bit I've forgotten. Right, so we need to uh, set a blackboard value by code. So I could do this by blueprint because it's easier, but there's a way to do it. Uh, and I, I've done it 
in this code base already. So let uh, blackboard key. Let's have a look, see if that pops up. Oh, would you look at this? So this was for a custom task. And what we want to do is when we're setting it. Oh, it's in our project that we want, right? Not any project. So H A. This. Okay, let's borrow this a second. Go back to where we were at. Assassin was born here. So let's see what we've actually got here, shall we? So we need to get the controller from this cached assassin, I think. Let's go ahead and do that. So is it an AHA controller? I think it, it's derived from that. Let's go into, where's our controller? It's going to be in here. Uh, assassin controller is the parent class is an AHA controller. Okay, that's the right type. So we get the controller. To me, it can just be any controller, right? We're not doing anything specific to it, I don't think. Yeah, we probably don't even need to include that. We can just do AI controller because that'll have the same functionality on it. That way we don't need to bring in a class that we're not using. So let's go ahead and get the AI controller. Um, it needs to have an A at the start of it. Apologies. Okay. And then we're going to get the blackboard component off of it. And then we're going to set a value. And this is the bit where we're kind of just hard coding it. So this was uh, called Adventure to seek so this is like really not a great way to do it because you end up having to consistent keep this consistent which isn't ideal hello there dumpster cats and then what we want to set as the value is the current dungeon okay so this is where have we got the dungeon in here yet Hmm. In this class, do we access the dungeon? Oh, we're in the bloody dungeon. That helps. Current adventure. Well, all right. This is the basics of what we need. Whether it works first time, who knows? At the moment, they should just chase them continually. And do nothing and just follow them through the dungeon like a weird stalker. Maybe we need to make a stalker command just to utilize this basic code. Just wait for this to hot reload. Uh oh, spaghetti o's. Okay, so adventure pawn get controller. Uh, do we really need to know what? Hang on. Is the adventure pawn really are not included in this class. Do you not use it anywhere else? I think. Yeah, hang on. Wait, wait, wait. We include it. We do include the adventure pawn. So I think there's just something wrong with how I use it here. I don't think we need an include for AI controller because it's a maybe blackboard component needs one. Hmm, it's hard to know when visual assist is just balking up for me. Let's go ahead and uh, try and compile it in in here instead, shall we? And just uh, work with the compile issues there. I also realize I don't like this solution explorer being so long across here. I think I normally close close it, but alternatively, I like prefer to have this across like that. I think. Yeah. No. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. In it out. I want this to go like below both of these. There we go. So I have more room for my windows. It's all good. 
because I often have like bookmarks and uh, debugging stuff down this bottom section. My bookmarks you can see over here. You can just whack this over on this side now. Perfect. Okay, so let's compile and see what the problem is. So it still says adventure porn is un. Oh! It's because it's not known as that in this class. Because I copy pasted it from elsewhere. There we go. That's all good. Oh, hold on. No, 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 no. We don't want this either. This is wrong. Okay, good. There's another thing wrong. This should be our newly created cached assassin, right? Yeah, like so. Uh, and then this just needs an include. We can't just... Why is it not giving me the choice to include it, eh? Okay, whatever. Thank you, Visual Assist, for being consistently average these days. Because I'm not updating you. Because I don't want to pay £100 a year. Okay, so where did we get it from? I think we... We got our find still. Our find results. No, I think it's because it's running. We don't get to see them. So, you blackboard component. Is. In AI module. Uh, behavior tree. Blackboard control uh, component. Okay. Uh, blackboard component. Or was it in blackboard as well? Not there. You are. Hello, the bad cop. Yeah, it's a chorizo cam, which is for our little um fire skink, but they're deep underground at the moment, so there's no real chorizo cam, I'm afraid. Nice to see you though. Hope you're keeping well. Sorry. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to get used to I'm using OBS instead of slobs. Something's a little bit different with clicking. Uh, let me just hide this. Living on a hope. I'm sure Alicia will get very excited and tell us if Teresa's out. Um, so it doesn't know what this is. So let's uh, try and rebuild with that. Okay, and now AI controller, so it did need that. It's a shame that my visual assist isn't working here. Oh my gosh, what's going on? It's AI controller, please. It's just in AI module classes AI controller. Okay. Okay, take three. Action. Some streamer is doing an R place like thing. I do not know what Reddit place subreddit thing is. What is it? Explain to someone who's not very internet. If you're happy to. Right, so this is how I wanted to change my layout as well while this is loading. Probably not the best time to reposition stuff while it's trying to launch stuff. Big canvas where anybody can place. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Oh, I may have seen a, uh, someone talking about that our place thing.
Okay, so let's press play. Let's uh, start the game flow. Apparently Atomic's in the dungeon. I'm going to use an assassinate command and see if the assassin spawns and chases him. Or we get a crash. Okay, I don't see an assassin. <laughs> so let's just F8 it. Is the assassin in here? The assassin is in here. Alright, assassin, what's going on with your behaviour? Hmm? Get rid of you, because you're not so good anymore. We'll spawn another one shortly. I just need to open up my AI behavior tree. So we can kind of watch what's happening here. Oh, that's interesting. Can't find matching actors, even though there's one in here. Let's double check our assassin and make sure that it does have... Oh, is it? Be it's probably not set to auto-possess. Stop. Auto possess when placing world when spawned. Auto possess player. Mm, I think it's uh, when spawned. I think. Right, because it's not placed in the world. I guess either would would be fine. Realistically, both. Okay, let's give this another go, shall we? You were you were spared, don't you worry, Spacey. <laughs> Let's say you <laughs> bad cough, I feel you you're griefing even worse by pretending not to grief. How dare you. Ah, oh, bad cops in the dungeon, we'll show you. We'll show you. Here we go, come on. Are they gonna chase them? No. Why are they not doing anything? Ah! Why not? <laughs> Curse you, assassin. Huh? What's your problem? Um... It could be that it should be just sat in here, but maybe hold on. Maybe that happens if there's nothing in there. So, okay, let's say I just do a wait. I think what could be happening. Let's just do a small wait in here, right? Is it is going in there. And the thing is, we're not setting this blackboard to uh, seek adventure, right? So let's just try this and see if initially it goes into there when it spawns. Actually, no, it should not do. Mm. I still don't have faith that this is working. Uh, what we need to do at least is to change the code in here. We also need to set blackboard, set value as bool. Uh, we're going to have an F name of not adventurer to seek, but this is should seek adventurer, I think. And then we're going to go ahead and true, set it as true. Right, let's hot reload and see what happens, shall we? That didn't prove anything of the sorts. Hey, Littlewood. Okay, now let's go ahead and do this again, shall we? Oh, great. I'm in the dungeon. Now I've got to assassinate myself. Maybe we'll just wait before we test it, shall we? All right, let's do that. Okay, yeah, it's moving. Look, the assassin's moving. He's on his way to his dang games. Yeah, all he does is stalk him and push him at the moment. <laughs> but it works. We've got an assassin who chases us. How glorious. All right. Great. 
So now all we need to do is add some logic to change this behavior tree when they collide with them. Hey there, Mega. Lovely to see you. Little Wood, there was only cuddling from behind happening there. Nothing else. Just popped in in 12th. Just come say hi. I'm learning the pixel art. So I'm off. Lovely. Feel free to share progress on the Discord, Bizarro. See how you're coming along. It's nice to see, uh, to see your name. I hope you're keeping well. Uh, right, okay, so let's think about this. The assassin doesn't... We can do this in Blueprint for now. It's not going to have much logic, right? So all we need to do is uh, on actor begin overlap. Will it create another... Okay, let's just do this. Let's try casting this to Dungeon Adventurer. Hmm. Adventure Porn Dungeon. Why did I put the dungeon at the end there? Who knows? Alright, if they can do this, then what we want to do is we want to get con um, controller. Oh, can we call get AI controller? Yeah, we can. Okay, so controlled actor is going to be this, right? So get a reference to ourself there. We want to get the AI controller associated with that. Then we want to get blackboard component. And then from there, we're just doing what we did in code here, but just in Blueprint now. We want to do set uh, value as bool. And the key name is, uh, I can nick it from here. Should seek adventure. Promote this to a variable. We'll give this a, a little name now. Okay, and then we compile it to give it a value. Excellent. Just in case we need to use it again. Okay, so if it is a person we run into, we should set that. That should stop them from doing it. But we also want to go ahead and kill them as well. But, I mean, we need to code that still. Let's just see if that happens, if they stop chasing them to begin with. First step. Let's get this started. Oh, it's Mega in the dungeon. He just drank some poison to start with. Not the wisest of choices he's made. We'll forgive. Okay, let's uh, call in an assassin. I'm going to run out of money at this rate. No, assassination. That's the one. No, assassinate, isn't it? No! I'm going to run out. <laughs> no. Oh, we don't even know what happened. We can F8 in quickly, but I think... Where's he got? Oh! <laughs> the assassin's still here! <laughs> Just lurking at the end of the dungeon, waiting for Honest Damn Games now. So troublesome. Okay, let's just do another assassinate. Right, so another assassin comes in. Needs to catch up quickly. Oh, come on, assassin. Come on, get to get the... Oh, no, we can't even test it again! What we need to test is, does it stop moving <laughs> as soon as it touches it? That's all I wanted. So we wait. Uh-oh. It's not going to finish the dungeon now, though, is it? All right. Uh, we, can, we can fix this. Get out of the way. Oh. Something touched that. that what? <laughs> the assassin touched the chest, which finished it. It's fine. This is a perfectly bug-free game. Spacey, it's your turn to die. Right, okay, so it should touch Spacey and then just stop. No, no, it's still hungry. Are we going to hit this? Okay, I guess it's because it's not an overlap. Uh, on hit, is it? Event hit. Do that instead, shall we? <laughs> no personal space, not for you. Not today. I really should just make an assassinate command so I can just... Alright, Alicia Griffin's getting assassinated. No, it's still harassing assa 
Elisha. All right, in here. Oh, it's because we're setting it to true. Set it to false. All right, take three, action. <laughs> take three, it's more like take eight at this time. It's fine, everything's good. We're gonna go. Who's getting it this time? Bizarro. Assassin, <laughs> another bully. Misha says that anytime anything I do remotely affects. No, why are you still chasing? Right. So it's meant to set the value to false, right? Did I put the wrong value in? Should seek adventurer. Right, that's what we think, right? So then we would go to. Oh, is it because I'm on a breakpoint? I can't even check it. Okay, so let's go to uh, AI behavior tree. All right, now we're sending another one called bad cop on uh, bad cop. Okay, and we can now change this to the other one. You see the chasing them. Uh oh, come on, right, get them. Okay, now they've stopped. No, 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 no. You don't get to just sometimes work. This could be due to the collision shape uh, and the on hit event. Right, that is what we expected uh, at this point, right? Uh, so in here, when we hit, if the other that you've hit is an adventure pawn, then we go ahead and change the value, right? That's what should happen. So this should only happen. This should. Mm. Yeah, I don't think the uh, collision is consistent here, is it? Tell you what, should we do an assassin uh, assassinate command? Uh, ba, ba, da, ba, ba, ba. Uh, there's a bit where we do it. If I remember, we want to be in the game mode. Yeah, add potion debug. Yeah, because yeah, you've got to do a mark them as a exec, right? So let's go ahead and do this. This is going to be called assassinate debug. Let's create that. And then we'll do the same sort of thing. Start assassination. Great. Okay, so that saves me having to write in the chat every time to do it and probably run out of run out of money soon enough. I have to go beg into Mamba to add give me some more currency Mamba, I'll say. I could code it to do that. It's more fun to grovel to Mamba. Now, how have you been, by the way, Mamba? You've been all right the last few weeks? Been a bit of a less busy AHA month with a uh, losing day happening. Oh, I can afford a few. I can afford a few more then, right? Oh, stat assassination needs to have an oh uh, yeah the function has a like who initiated it right let's just make a new one i guess by test user that'll do should do the job busy with just work oh dear 
Is it getting to you or are you happy to be busy, man? Okay, so let's start the game flow. And then we can call and assassinate debug on Spacey. Yeah, it only happens sometimes. So we had this. We had this in, um, do you remember our uh, Honest, ja Honest and Jam thing? When we were in the wheelchair controller, our AI going into stuff wasn't detecting. And the reason is, if I remember correctly, it's the root component it uses for collision uh, when you're using, like, move to. But if we have... Does this sprite have collision on it? Block all dynamic. Okay, so maybe we can make this just say no collision. We don't need the sprite itself to have collision, right? Let's save that a sec. Uh, in fact, we may need to do that on all of them. Okay, uh, parent class is just assassin. Was that dungeon adventurer as well, I guess? Or adventure. Uh... Is it going to be a uh, range report? This one. This originates from this, so we can go ahead and change this one instead. Okay, so yeah, what we want to do is maybe take this sprite and set the collision details off in here. See if this actually helps. No collision, please. Okay, so. Let's see whether that makes a notable... Oh, no, we can't deep. I just spawned an assassin before we even started. Okay, so now we don't have any skins. Is, the, is it just falling? It might be just... Okay, no, 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 that's fine. Maybe it's just Mamba's ninja skin. Still isn't hitting it, though, is it? Right, it's Mam Mamba's weird skin making things even more confusing than they are. You like your work. Well, that's nice to hear, Mamba. Glad to hear. Uh-oh. Is the assassin going to make it in time? Yeah, it's, i tell you what, it feels, um, I thought I knew what it was, but we're, Hmm. Let's check the things we know it could be. So, uh, the collision on this, collision preset is pawn on that. Oh, the assassin might not have the same one, actually. Oh, it is. Blast. Does it need to generate overlap? It shouldn't have to generate overlap. Oh, hang on. Is the sim yeah hit events? That might be it. All right, it was in there. Bizarro was going to get slayed.
Why? Why does it not detect it? Okay, so it's not detecting a hit event. Which is troublesome. I thought it would, yeah, no, no, no. Okay. Bad cop gonna get killed this time. Well, hugged to death. Okay, this, what have we hit against? Okay, so we've hit the floor. That's fine. Let's jump over this. Continue. Yeah, we're not hitting anything still. Why is the hit events not working? It could be the move command. Acceptable radius. If we go zero, see if it gets super close to it. I'm not 100% this is it. I was hoping that value would have been larger. Well, assassinate whoever comes in, Mamba. Thank you for changing your skin, Mamba. That's fine. You're hitting the empty room. Okay, you're still hitting the room. You are now hitting the... Okay, adventure... So it can hit it. But it's just not consistently. And that's not good enough. Goodbye, Spacey. Yeah, see, I had to hit it twice. Actually register it. So the collision of this should be off now if it's inheriting, right? Uh, on the right component, no collision. Capsule generate hit events is on. Assassin. In contrast to that. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I'm not too sure why. I mean, we can try and get a little bit closer, I guess. Uh, if we F8. 
Could be due to the nav mesh on the floor as well. No, they don't affect nav mesh. Just move this one out of the way and we'll do it again and just observe why it takes a little while. Amber's time. Oh no, can I not call it? Can't, I've got to possess to do it, really? So silly. Ah, oh, this is a shame we're getting held up on this today. Okay, instantly stop there, and that's nice, but not always what happens. Okay, stream elements is going to get hunted this time. Okay, let's just try some things then. Um, doesn't make sense to me why the size of the collision should matter here. However, we could always just put a, like the hit box in, in front of them. So if we do this. Uh, scale this down, actually just scale it down here, I guess the 16, 16. Be fine, and we just place it in front of them like so. Okay, and then in the logic, we want to go ahead and get this. I guess we would just go, um, would register to this like on overlap. Oh, brainoid. Oh, it didn't read it out, the voice to text. That I do have audio off, but it didn't read it out for me then. Uh that might be a stream elements thing I need to switch on. Oh the green screen. Indeed. Uh yeah, that's another thing. We we changed uh I just turned on the lights. Uh and yeah, we changed over recently. I probably just need to tweak the camera. Uh it's not a problem. Where it is? The old face cam. Let's try and change this, shall we? Or can I not change it here? Nope. Okay, give me a sec. Where's the split mode? Or is there not a split mode in OBS? Ah! How do I do it? How can I view a, a scene without switching to it? I probably... I must be able to. You be sure you about? All right, be right back one sec. Can you, Jack? How are you? Uh, some OBS stuff. So 
It's in another scene. I don't know how to edit this scene without switching to it. Um. Then I go like that and it's not switched, right? Mm -hmm. And then I can go into this. Oh, I'm going to guess maybe the color settings or something on it were different. Yeah, but the, the camera might be different, not the green screen, I mean. So it may not need the exact same value. Uh... Sorry, let me pause this annoying music. Uh, da, da, da. Just because the light is right it's next like to it. It's like a northern light. The more we go that way, I disappear. My contract? I don't know. Can you undo or? Oh, it's the color. Probably it might be the color key as well. Yeah, sorry, it's probably more color. Sorry about this, chat. Okay, we might need to just do it another time because this is not going well. <laughs> I've had it mess up, mess it up a bit before, but never like this bad. It looks like it's raining. <laughs> I didn't seem to like apply actually until I'd finished pressing it. There you go. And then I'll go to switch back there, right? And then click off of that. Okay. We're back. It stopped. Hopefully that's a little better. Better. Okay, so we are trying to figure out. Oh yeah, we were just going to bind to the overlap event on this, weren't we? Uh, probably this and we can just create a new event in here and we just feed that in there instead and we can chuck the other actor in there I know this is a mess at the moment apologies let's see if this works instead then shall we oh the green screen's going again How's it changing now? I don't understand. <clears throat> Whatever, I'll work with it again in a sec. Okay, so will this work instead? Did it happen instantly? I tell you what, let's destroy let's destroy the assassin afterwards, shall we? So we don't have to worry. That'll do. Do that, and we can also change the movement component of this boy to move a bit faster. So where's the walk? Speed in that here, let's make it 400. Uh, no, let's for now test it, let's go 600. Start this. Uh, 
I just realized the little picture is all squished in there. <laughs> Makes your eyes look all closed. Okay, assassinate. There's the dungeon. There they come. Okay. So it did it a lot faster that time. We might just need to go. There's something with the the capsules colliding. I'm not sure why. But um, this might, uh, instead of worrying about why, we might just go with this. Moobot is in the dungeon. Let's kill him. Uh oh. There you go. Go. Yeah, they're disappearing now. They're, they're not doing the humpy follow thing, right? Well, okay. There we go. Well, that's enough. I don't need to care any more about that. Let's go ahead and just make this a little bit smaller. There you go, that'll do fine. So if they come there, and we don't need to destroy it as such quite yet, we'll do that later. Okay, so now we've got our logic that it will go in and it'll hit it. We now need to think about what we want to do next. So the moment it interacts with it, we need to actually cast it to that specific type and call a function on that, right? So we're telling it it doesn't need to seek it anymore. It needs to kill. So maybe this is something that the assassin can perform. Uh, maybe it can just be uh, a function. Yeah, we can pass in the adventure pawn to it as well. Okay, so probably best we do this from the code. I think. So we're going to go to the code. We're going to go to our assassin class. We'll add in a function in here, which will be a u function. So we need to access it from blueprint callable. Uh, this is going to be called uh, kill adventurer, and this can take an A, A H A, uh, adventurer, no, an adventurer pawn in, I guess. No, but we need the specific. Hmm. Is it a dungeon adventure? I forget what they're called. Hmm. No, they are just an adventure pawn. So as far as our dungeon is concerned, is it just an adventure pawn? It is. Okay. That's what we're taking in then. So we go to our assassin. We jump back into here. We're going to take one of those in. Adventurer to kill. Okay, cool. Uh, this doesn't need to return anything, I guess, right? I guess it, it could return a, 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 a. Yeah, I don't know about this because I'm trying to think it'd be like a chain of events, probably. Uh, could it fail if they've already finished? For now, we'll just go with void. I'm fine with that. Okay, so let's go ahead and create implementation from that. And then we need to think about how we stop the adventurer from moving. So the adventurer at the moment, how is it moving? I don't even know anymore. I don't know, is it? Is it the dungeon that moves it around? Um, yeah, by here. We enter down it. Oh, I wonder is this being triggered by the 
the assassin running through here. I don't know if we filter it just by... Hmm. I'm trying to remember how we did this part of the system. Now what's the functions we got in here? Somewhere in here. Um, prepare for an extra room. We activate the room, process room event, here, current adventurer move to new location. So we need to interrupt that basically, right? How do we kill it at the moment? Because we kill it when they get, die from a monster as well. Do they just disappear? I can't remember. How do, yeah, how does it work if they die at the moment? Let's uh, start it and let's add a bunch of monsters, shall we? Why is that monster debug not working? Okay, I just without a number. Oh yeah, we can't even see. I think it just instantly disappears. Yeah. Thank you, Balrog. A pleasure. Let's read that one out. What's the most reliable part of the human body? Your fingers. Because you can always count on them. Well, well, well. What a delight. To have the dad joke master himself here. the hidden there we go so we'd have to look at bloody bright green all the time send him to the dungeon yeah we will hopefully send him to the dungeon very good shout oh no it's bad cop in the dungeon instead There's no room for monsters there. I think you've got this. You've got minus 500. And minus 2000 fame? Does that look correct to you, member? Or is that a display, an issue on my end? Or we may just not be filled. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Oh, we can worry about that another time. Let's just focus on this for now. Okay, so let's just F8 and observe Pomo die. Oh no, he's gonna make it. Damn you, Pomo. You were meant to die. Hmm, Monster 3 added just one in. Okay, they should die anyway. Let's just see what happens now. Unless they one-shot both of these. Yeah, I think they just 
disappear, right? Adventure is fast. So maybe we can just go for that for now uh, and, and follow the same suit. And we can polish all the death to get at one point, you know? Unkilled. Why is that kill? Uh, uh, right, what was the function called? Did it kill adventure or something like that? Oh my gosh. Where was it? Were you... That's where we saw her. Adventure kill monster. Where does this even get called from? Oh, I'm getting lost in this. Okay, so... No, oh, the collision of the... Oh, that irks me, because the collision of the... The adventure going into the monster works, and it knocks them back, right? On combat defeat. So this is into the adventure that we need to go. I think. No? So if that, that, okay, where, where do we? Okay. So it is in the adventure form. Oh, okay, so we do it in the base and we do it in a sub -crack. Okay, that's not too bad. All right, so here, yeah, we collide on adventure collision here. I mean, we could kill the... We could handle the logic in here if the assassin gets you in here, then you could do it. But let, let's carry on with what we started for now. So, if they're not dead. And, ah, okay, so we've got a stop movement that we can do here. That I've, just part of a normal AI controller. Okay, so you abort the move in there, cool. Um, and then we, we take damage. And then we do an unkilled. And we do play dead visuals, which probably does nothing at the moment, right? Okay, so... I guess we need to kill... I mean, would we just set the health? Would we just call take damage and then give a max amount of damage? Yeah, that might be nice. We follow the same flow, possibly. Okay, so if we have this adventure to kill, we're just going to say, okay, if adventure to kill is valid, then we want to go ahead and say adventure to kill, they will take damage, and then we want to like have a max damage, I guess. But now we know it's just going to be... It's not nice to magic number, but we'll go with it. That might handle it in its own right, because of how it works. Although, no, the take damage itself won't stop it from moving. I think it would just disappear and carry on moving because we've already stopped it, if I recall. So we need to call stop movement on it as well. Which comes from the controller. And 
do we get this? Oh, it might be in the parent. Oh, no, no, no. Guess we just call get controller, right? Cache controller is called on it, right? Okay, so we can just go in our assassin. So first off, we can just go adventure to kill dot get controller. No. Why not? It is an actor. Why are we not getting any? I mean, we can get hold of the cache control. I don't even know if it's a. No, no, no. That's a function to do it, right? This is a pawn already. So why can't we? I don't understand this. So you should just be able to do this, right? Oh, I got a feeling it's not going to work. Let me get the controller. I mean, it feels weird that we're controlling it from there. I feel this should probably just call assassinate. Yeah, it should. As we'll have all this stuff in there. Get assassinated. I don't know if it needs to pass in the assassin really, does it? However, we may want to know who did it, but the dungeon knows that, I feel. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Make that function for us. Get assassinated. Excellent, actually. Did an alright job of placing it in. Not great, but alright. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Okay, so in our public functions, then we're going to call a get assassinated. Excuse the yawn, apologies. Uh, let's jump into this. So in here, we've got a cached controller already. Cache controller dot stop movement. I don't know, I already have a function here called stop movement, didn't I? No, maybe it didn't. Okay, so stop movement there, and then we're gonna go ahead and take damage. Let's just do that for now. Well, I guess we could just do print adventure. Adventure port, oh no, uh, health. Yeah, we've got access to it. However much health we get, we're going to just kill them. Okay. Let's uh, give that a shot. Then. See if it ends the dungeon. Although, hmm. Is it going to do that dungeon flow though? I don't think it will. 
because the whole dungeon flow needs that. We'll, we'll compile it. We'll try it. But I'm, um, it's about how we how the flow is handled. It's not when it's killed, it stops the dungeon run. I think it's quite a specific, like a linear series of uh, events that we need to duplicate or kind of call into. So now the assassin needs to know about our dear. The picture porn. Try that again. Okay, that's worked. Let's start the game flow. Let's uh, assassinate. Who's in Spacey? Dear Spacey, it's time to die. So I don't think we made our assassin call the function. <laughs> so we need to get this call assassinate. No, kill a uh, adventurer. Oh, yeah, 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 that's the one. Spacey, you live another day. Oh no, she's back into the dungeon. We only, we, we can't really tell whether or not this is going to be the end for Spacey. But, let's find out. Assassination is coming in. Yeah, uh, oh. They kind of got knocked back and then they didn't die. Did they? I don't know. Did they get knocked back? I think they did. <laughs> yeah, they kind of got knocked back. <laughs> I wonder the flow there. Let's just follow it through to find out why they're going backwards, shall we? Oh my gosh, is this basically a third time in the dungeon? What's going on with this? You're just getting killed all the time, I'm afraid. Oh, you, you, you died before the assassin got in. Okay, maybe Spacey is the only one in chat. Oh no, she started with zero health. We've got some problems. <laughs> oh dear, what's going on? Why are we not hitting this breakpoint? I didn't put the breakpoint in. Yeah, sorry, I think you're the only person alive in chat spacey, so it's gonna choose you at the moment. <laughs> okay, so let's jump into this and see what happens. So we call stop movement. That just does the controller is going to stop trying to follow the path. Then we do take damage. Go through. Health is four and it's passed in four, right? So now your health is you are killed. Which calls unkilled. So you're now dead. You're unable to fight. And you're playing dead visuals. Ah, do we have a function called play dead visuals that just moves you back at the moment? I don't know if it is.
plated visual. So let's let's see if there's anything in there that's moving it back. Because I at the moment don't know why it's moving back. Uh, adventure porn. Do you have a play dead visuals? No. Nope. Just does a string. Why is it going backwards then? Who's going in this time, eh? Who's going in? There you go. Yeah, I don't know how the fame is is going into the minus. It's it's all good though. We can work that stuff out another time. All right, so we can see where they were, right? You can see they they kind of I know where they are on the screen, and then we're gonna resume. And they're not gonna be there. Well, can't see because of the bloody. I will go again. Out oh, frosty going in. Okay, it knocks back and then they carried on moving. Okay, so we got some funky stuff going on with our dungeon. Irago, it's your turn. The bot hath no fury. It could be the like the monster that it, it carries on going. Uh and the monster gets it. I, I wonder why it's not immediately stopping. Oh no. I mean that time it did. Uh, still shifts back. Some weird stuff going on here. Yeah, you know, it could be. Oh. Uh, I think it might be that. I think our, when we send our adventurer, I mentioned this earlier and I kind of forgot about it again. So I think when uh, we have our dungeon, we have room on room entered, I think. This, I think. We're not checking what is entering at the moment. We haven't encountered, uh, taken into account for anything that would possibly be moving. Okay, so this is fine, right? This is going to happen a few times while they go in. Now what we want to do is we do an assassinate. But then I need to quickly switch the code. Oh no, okay, that might still work. Eh! Damn it. Turn this off. I why this is annoying me. I can't do this fast enough. I uh But when we hit that, hmm. if the door's open, I don't think you should hit it again because when you get knocked back, it doesn't reopen the door. So my, this assumption might be wrong. Okay, so when we for the door, we connect it to that. Then when do we broadcast that? 
Okay, on uh, door collision with oh, okay, so it checks is it an adventure pawn? My one isn't, so it shouldn't actually be triggering this. Okay, so my theory was wrong. I think. What should be happening is it should instantly get assassinated and tell it to stop, right? But what's what's controlling the the pawn? I feel like I put effort into make this like structured and organized, but yeah, I find it so difficult to get back into like the, the old logic. It wasn't very clear at all. I don't feel like I made the decision that the dungeon controls the pawn, I think. So I feel like we need to kill. <clears throat> this starts it off through going into the phase, I'm pretty sure. All right, so set up new dungeon. This is going to be called, yeah, I don't think we're going to get anywhere near dropping items today, unfortunately, like the plan was. Okay, and then on dungeon complete, it's true, and then we go to our next condition. So if all conditions are met, then we go ahead and we enter the dungeon state. When we enter the dungeon, they go to the entrance. And then they go to in progress state. Yeah, it's an unreal thing. It's like macros you put above stuff so that it gets picked up by the Unreal Header tool, which will uh, help with things like exposing it to the editor, so you can get access to the code, and doing like some garbage collection memory management stuff as well. Yeah. It's uh, packed with all these macros, to be honest with you. Okay, so we're in here. So now when they... In progress dungeon state. This is where they start. And then on update, is the dungeon run failed? Now, if it's complete, then we just... Oh no, okay, either. Okay, it's neither of those. It's not a binary, right? Otherwise, you return null pointer. Okay, so what, what gets it moving from piece to piece at this point? Because this will be useful when we do need to do drops for me to understand, remember the flow of this dungeon, so it's not the end of the world. I don't quite follow what's doing it though. Weed lol, thank you very much for the subscription. Happy days, lovely to see you. That's a beautiful pig horse. Look, your name is in its belly. How glorious. Boo, yeah, sorry, my audio's a bit balked. It doesn't, uh, it's not doing the text-to-speech. I've changed over to just normal OBS. It's not doing the text-to-speech things on the alerts and that either, so sorry about that. What controls this then? So, okay, cash. Hmm. 
I guess it, it, it's just moving towards the room and it's all handled by the room overlaps, I guess. So it goes into progress in this last state. Let's go back in here, right? So in here, yeah, we move to room zero, right? So we move to that location. And then when we get to room zero, so I guess this is where we need the room overlap or the door overlap maybe. This is our setup. Oh yeah, this is the way you can make these, I remember, ignore this for now. Ignore that as well, we don't really care for that. Okay, this just sets up all of the rooms. Oh wait, I'm actually at this breakpoint now, which I didn't realize. Okay, so uh, entry door entered. It broadcasts that. I feel I'm going in circles here. Diolch uh, chi a wydl o'r amdaf nyddol gorchym yn Gymraeg. Ani weld y ble mae hon yn beth sy'n grando hyn. Mae'r dungeon yn grando? A treasury room and grando. Okay, only weld get that hint. So, our staff is in grando e hin. So, where did my on new room entered in Kalayalu? Then, ama my video adionary in Gantav. And as. Ah, oh, okay, so the broadcast will need a map when the paratoy and the stavish nest out. I was thinking just masky hidden with your land. So the new and stavish dim, and even many a map. I didn't find man, even moan. And in activate room. And then process the next event, right? Yeah, dad no ma. So my hon and a stavish ma. And even the tree on aid a event nessa ma. All events in Mona. Uh, zero, so I'm just going to be in Seath Troy, I'm going to be in Seath Am or Duwedd. So I'm going to dig with being a lad in Seath Ar Lle, right? And so I'm going to be in Lanham now, right? Uh, no, 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 um, I'm a stafell, yeah, a drws nesaf. So I'm going to be in a drws nesaf, I'm going to be in a stafell i in a trauma, I'm going to be in a drws nesaf. And even in with it, I'm only Vanma. I have Vanma. Okay, so I need just uh, Roy Sapient Amma. Okay, so now I'm not done. Is that all? I don't only a Jackie Weld or Sna. Okay, my event in the Stavish Nessa. So I need just uh, Gwaski at Pimp come now. Require Adam Hin. Hey, Hulsey. I'll go ahead and him. Okay, so we've got one in here now, right? Yeah, the commands are a little bit confused. You do join to join the game, and then you uh, there's a different command to join a um, a kingdom. I think exclamation mark kingdom Danada. But the game, uh, yeah, it, it should work even if this is paused because actually it's not related to the Unreal thing. Okay, so we've got an event this time. So we get, choose a random index, which would be zero because there's only one, right? And then we go ahead and we get the event. And then we say, is event room in progress? Uh, 
Ah, okay, this is confusing. This is a delegate here. Okay, so when it gets to, you've completed, get on room event complete delegate. So that's going to be based on the, the chest or whatever, right? And then we're adding a dynamic to that, which is just saying that on room event complete. Okay. Um. And we get the location and we move them there. No, we tell them to go there, right? So they're going to try and go to the location at that point. And then we're waiting for this function here. So let's jump to this. Whack that into here. Dancaster, is that instead of Doncaster? Okay, so we've now come back from a successful pick up the chest event. We go through and then if it was successful, otherwise, we go to the next one. Otherwise, we get the current room index and we try again, basically, right? So we go and get our next, right, okay, and this is going to tell it to move again. So what triggers this? on room event complete. Depends on the type on the room, I guess, right? So if it's a monster pawn, it's one of those. What, what else have we got in here? Dungeon consumable is one. Okay, and again, this is just gonna probably be, it just gives you this delegate, and once this delegate fired, is when you on room event end. Which happens probably when it overlaps with it. Yeah, well, cool. well let's uh, have a little look with that. Possibly. And uh, Lancaster. Yeah, the, the, there's not too many Ancasters. Oh, sorry, if you can hear the music. It's um cello playlist. Well, not just cello. Well, actually, yes, just cello. Hmm. So this gets called Is it getting called here? I mean we have this. Nope. When is this getting called on room event end? confused how is that even getting bloody cold then where's this come from let's look at the call stack oh bloody no <sighs> Yeah, I don't really know. But this says to me it's it's either done through a a binding, which is possible. But it should have showed in this find list. The binding, right? Maybe I'm just getting tired and I can't see. No, 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 those are bindings. 
Hmm. Well, we, we are at 9 o'clock anyway. I meant to stop at 9 o'clock. I'll try and have a look at this with a fresh head. Uh, I will just write some notes in the meantime of where we got. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's close this. Uh, we're mid debugging, so let me just go ahead and resume. And off some of these breakpoints. And we'll stop this. So, I mean, we still got a little bit done, but it doesn't feel like two hours working, sadly. Let's close that. Uh, let's write some a quick write up of what we've been doing. So, set up Assassin uh, to have an AI controller, Blackboard, Behavior Tree. When Assassinate command is used, it will get the current adventurer as a target and move towards it. When close enough, it will uh, call its uh, kill adventure command, which will uh, deal damage, max damage to the adventure. Currently, uh, we are investigating. Uh, currently, the this seems. Some unexplained behavior, such as the adventurer uh, getting knocked back when killed by the assassin, which uh, uh, there's also uh, we uh, need to trace through dungeon logic further to understand what exactly is controlling the adventurer and ensure when the assassin kills the player the adventurer that it um, updates any systems that need to know about it No, uh, honestly, out for us, I like I struggle. I kind of felt like stopping an hour ago. If I've had a, I did a eight till six thirty day today as well, and cooked lunch and dinner. But it's just, eh, yeah, I know, I only do one day a week officially, don't I? So I, I kind of I have to. But um, yeah, it, it is challenging. You're not the only one. But sometimes sitting down is the problem. Also, I don't know. It's it's a tricky one. I think it's a mental state sometimes that you can you can have some control over. Um, but it's not. It, you can't just push yourself through it either. I do feel sometimes you do need to just stop. Yeah, I can I can take the I can take the time back. So don't worry. In terms of the we we kind of have flexi time where I work. So. I do extra hours today then I can do technically I could do two hours less tomorrow I might not do because it's I got some important stuff to get done but I'll get it back in the week so don't worry I'm not being run into the ground for well, they're, they're, they're good in that way but I plan to finish and then uh, one of the juniors who I'm kind of uh, mentoring uh, just uh, we got into a call to help with something and it turned into a bigger discussion and I didn't want to just cut it short and say, I'll see you tomorrow. Um, and then the work that I was working on, which I've currently locked the depot so no one can submit at the moment because I'm doing some engine upgrade stuff. So mine is more time sensitive, so I needed to get my bit done for that. But uh, yeah, it's it's a good question though, out for us. I think, do you know, like one thing that f f one of the biggest barriers for me out for us is feeling like I don't, I don't really know exactly where to start, and that's a big putting off point when you feel like oh, I should be productive, and then I'm like oh, but I don't know. It's not like I've got my teeth into something. So then you've got to open it, and then you've got to figure out oh, well, what do I want to do? Where was I? Or it's a system, you know what you need to do, but you don't understand the system or you can't remember exactly where you are. If I know what I need to do and how to do it, 
and I get into a rhythm, then that'll inspire me or motivate me to do more work. But when I'm tired and I don't exactly know the solutions and I can't remember where I was, then I'm very unlikely to do the work, extra work. But yeah, I'm happy with how I'm doing at work. I'm not so happy with how I'm progressing outside of work, but it's it's just, uh, yeah, it's a, it's an onwards kind of battle. You gotta keep trying to push and get uh, progress will come. I think that like I felt it a bit today with when I started get, uh, figuring out oh how this works and I just thought you know something crossed my mind at one point thinking you know oh now that I know how this works I should really just log into the week and just finish this assassination bit and work out get this dungeon stuff working properly so there is like hint glimmers of like you know that motivation where you're like okay I think I get where this is going now I I've got some stuff I should just crack on with ah uh, okay yeah um I don't suffer so much with that. I do feel pretty tired though. But um Yeah. Yeah, I'm not I'm normally like bed around half tenish though, so I'm not a, a wild man. But yeah, good chat. <laughs>